All right, this is Roland McPherson, Real Turf Tech. Uh, I'm going to explain what backlapping does. <clears throat> I have cobbled together my definition of backlapping from <clears throat> my experience and other sources. One definition that I came across is uh, from a old grinding book uh, called Grinding Practice from Colvin. Lapping is roughly defined as precision finishing. It is done by movement between the lap, I've inserted reel, and the work I've inserted bed knife with a fine abrasive between the surfaces and applies to either cylindrical or flat surfaces. And from Wikipedia, their definition of two-piece lapping is the principle that the protrusions on one surface will both abrade and be abraded by the protrusions on the other resulting in the two surfaces evolving towards some common shape, not necessarily flat, separated by a distance determined by the average size of abrasive particles with a surface roughness determined by the variation in the abrasive size. So my definition of backlapping is grinding a bed knife using the reel as a lap mating the entire length of the cutting edge of the bed knife to the reel from both the front and side dimensions, allowing the cutting edge of the bed knife to either contact the reel or be closer to the reel than any other part of the bed knife. So those of us who have been backlapping know that it works. Uh, I have never heard an explanation of why it works. Uh, and I've certainly never heard a detailed explanation of why it works. Specifically in two different dimensions, or there's two different things that it does. Uh, that's what I mean by both the front and side dimensions. So when most people think of backlapping, they think of a, they think of it looking at the front of the reel. Here's a, a bed knife with a smile. Each end of the bed knife is closer to the reel than the middle. And here's one with a frown. The middle of the bed knife is closer to the reel than the ends. And in this, this case, one end of the bed knife is closer than the other. So, in this, from the front dimension or the front view, backlapping can be a crude substitute for proper reel and bed knife grinding with grinding machines. But forget about that. That's not why I backlap primarily. Uh, so I'm going to explain what I'm why I backlap and what I mean by two different dimensions. Okay, here's a new bed knife or a freshly ground bed knife, uh, basically to like new. You got the cutting edge of the bed knife either touching the reel blades or very close. And behind that cutting edge of the bed knife is a gap.
then once the unit is put into service after a period of time the front of the top face of the bed knife starts to wear into and take the shape of the reel. This is a very simplified depiction of that. And everybody knows that this, everybody is familiar with this concept. So the key to understanding what backlapping does and how it works starts with this concept right here in figure number three. As I said, everybody knows and accepts that this is what happens to a bed knife after it's put into service. So what I'm proposing is what I have found <clears throat> in my experience is this is what happens to a bed knife. This is, is uh, more detailed than that. Okay, here's the front of the top face of the bed knife that's wearing into and taking the shape of the reel. And this is the back of the top face of the bed knife. So the bed knife wears like this, the front of the worn in section of the top face wears down faster than the back of the worn in section. So <clears throat> this is what happens when a bed knife has finished a hard day's work and uh, you adjust the bed knife up to the reel and it's not cutting but you have contact you know you have contact because you can hear it and feel it but the unit let's say the unit is not cutting paper you can face the bed knife and put a sharp edge back on the cutting edge of the bed knife sharp enough so it would cut your finger if you ran it across the edge and it still won't cut it's because there's a gap here but there's no gap back here So when I back lap, what I'm doing is, I, this is the situation that I have. What I'm doing when I back lap is I'm removing material, I'm grinding material from the bed knife. Wherever it's in closest proximity to the reel. So this is what I end up with after backlapping the distance from the cut point of the bed knife to the reel is the same as the distance back here to the reel and this distance is determined primarily by the average size of the abrasive particles so a T20 grit is around 2,000 seven inch average abrasive particle size. 80 grit is about seven 
thousands. That's that's when you apply the compound <clears throat> before it starts to break down. I think the effective uh, size, average size of the abrasive particles is smaller than that based on my experience. So I think when you apply 80 grit that those uh, abrasive particles start to deteriorate very quickly. So the effective size of the particles, it, the grinding is effect is less than seven for 80 grit and less than two thousandths for 220. So let's say we apply 220 grit and now we would have a gap here of a little less than two thousandths both here here at the back of the worn in section of the top face and here at the front then we adjust the bed knife up again and the adjustment moves the bed knife basically in this direction which is going to put the cutting point of the bed knife either touching the reel or closer to the reel than the back of the worn in area of the bed knife so that's uh, basic overview of how backlapping can work on a daily basis. It can make a mower that's not cutting cut grass and cut paper. It can also make a mower that is cutting grass and cutting paper cut cleaner. 